this is the cold start video for the 1982 Mercedes 280 SL. Uh, we'd like to start her up. Ready to fall, think I'm ready to lose it all. Uh, could you just gently increase the red to the end, please? A little bit more. Just a little bit more. And to release. Uh, start again, please. Uh, so here we are in Rachel's uh, 1982 Mercedes 280 SL. She's driving it on behalf of her son, who's at work at the moment. Um, so we're just going through the sort of picturesque countryside of uh, so what was the name of the area? Warmbra. Warmbra and. Uh, we are going to be taking it on some of these country roads and we will be taking it on a dual carriageway just to show how she opens up. So uh, in terms of the steering Rachel, how does it feel to you? Yep, the steering's really good, feels really nice, there's no pull. And so Completely of, good. And there's fairly bumpy roads, you can see it's stable as a rock really, no, no, no slapness in there at all. And it's an automatic model. And uh, changing gears, obviously, it's not a massive issue. So how would you say it selects into, into the various yeah, ratios? All the gear changes seem really, really smooth and you have no problems. How does it compare to, say, your modern daily driver? It's different. Yeah. Very different, but it is what it is. Um, it takes a bit of getting used to driving, but I can hop in and out of it now with no trouble at all, knowing, and I know, how it pulls off and everything. Obviously, it's a lot slower than a modern day car, but yeah, it, it feels really good and comfortable and really easy to drive. And it's obviously been reliable since uh, since you've had it. You've not had to do any major work on there. It's got a huge body of invoices and um, stretching back to the last decade. Um, so yeah, it's kind of uh, watertight on that sort of side. In terms of the braking, how would you say it feels? Yeah, the braking's absolutely fine. There's no pull. Um, very, very smooth. Superb. I can't hear any noises, no grinding or anything like that at all. It seems to brake quite evenly as well. Corners really, really nicely. Not much body war on. Can't hear any creaking from the suspension as you go around the corners. Pretty absorbent on the roads. Oil pressure and the water gauge didn't seem to represent any problems. We had the engine running for a little bit earlier on and uh, there was no kind of no notification of uh, overheating at all. The oil pressure seemed stable as well.
opening her up on a dual carriageway, well, it's just like a no, no limits road. So we're just taking it up to about sort of 50 miles an hour. It's nice and cosseted in here. In terms of all the controls, do they do, do they all work? Yeah, as far as I know, yeah. all the 